By any measure, this vote counts as historic. The last time a Somali president came to power through anything like a free election was in 1967. It wasn't a national ballot. The country is still too dangerous for that. But it was a free poll of parliamentarians that were themselves chosen by a council of clan elders. This man was the favourite, President Sharif Sheikh Ahmed, with all the power and resources of the incumbency. There had also been widespread allegations of vote buying and intimidation. But in the end, it didn't much matter. Out of 22 candidates, four went to the second round, including a political outsider, Hassan Sheikh Mahmoud, a former university lecturer almost unknown until he entered the race a few weeks ago. When two dropped out after a flurry of deals, the fight was between the incumbent and the outsider. I think there is a sense of uh, enough is enough and whatever mechanism that produces a viable government is welcome. So certainly, despite of all the flaws, despite of the shortcomings, many Somalis are looking up to this process to produce some sort of government and that government will take to Somalia a more permanent uh, government. Hassan Sheikh Every vote was keenly tracked and it quickly became clear that Hassan Sheikh Mahmoud had an unassailable lead. I'm so happy and this is the new revolution and this is the democracy from Somalia, now you get it. In his acceptance speech, the president-elect spoke of a historic moment, of a new beginning for Somalia. It will lead a flawed government struggling with corruption, militias and widespread hunger. But he is a new leader untainted by past violence, freely elected. And by Somali standards, that alone is no small victory. The challenge for the sponsors of this political transition was to create a process that Somalis could really get behind, that they could have faith in. The manner of this election and the scale of the victory suggests that it might just work. Peter Grester, Al Jazeera, Mogadishu.